There are many areas of modern historical study, and the conclusions thereof, which not only are incorrect, but carefully planned, highly funded, and precisely executed convolutions of our true history. Theft of our true origins, and what lost civilizations were once capable of creating. Systematically obliterating our heritage all around us. Something the channel witnesses on a daily basis. There are many possible reasons for the motivation for such callous actions. Yet all are ultimately found to have nefarious intentions, greed, power, control, and paradigm. With funded academics complicit in this destruction, there is now very little MH has not covered, investigated, or encountered regarding antiquarian subject matter. As such, is now utterly convinced the timeline for the history of humans is far larger, far greater, and far more spectacular than any religious, geological, archaeological, historical, or any other academically funded field or institute, who greatly profit from the propping up such continued misconceptions will ever willingly admit. It is up to all of us to remain thorns in the sides of institutional liars. The truth is out there, but one must be relentless in their pursuit of it. To those who fund the travesty, who publish the fallacy, is all a big game, a power play to preserve an already well-established deception. Yet as mentioned, these strategic moves are not only isolated to our modern era. In reality, they have always been a consequence of greedy, psychopathic, power-hungry individuals throughout the ages. Incredible, still unexplained sites, re-inhabited by our more recent ancestors, who strategically began to claim them as their work, with modern academics using a similar strategy for their own beneficial motives. The past invaders, motivated by the illusionary sense of power and intimidation, which would have struck fear or respect for their seemingly magical capabilities into the hearts of any surrounding group. This power play strategy, also used by modern academia, using the vast array of said individual's artifacts, excavated at each site to support their posit for structural origin. This always regardless of the complete absence of any claimed culture leaving any diagrams, messages, or anything, not one shred of evidence showing these claimed culprits knew how to construct them, a vast portion of the general public simply go away, presuming those running the studies know all about who built these sites and how. Thus, those unfamiliar with the anomalies we cover can easily make a forgivable oversight as these charlatans openly declare they do indeed know who built them, resulting in a mass of misplaced faith from individuals unaware of the concealed features and the hidden agenda by the institutes who bribe others through the academic funding structure, manipulating those with limited information of such sites. Academics put tremendous effort into being perceived as intellectually superior to us all. This is solely for the purpose of financial gain, as if they are perceived as being more knowledgeable, by default they possess a greater influence, as such, can uphold misconceptions and concealment of the controversial and the contradictory. We often stumble upon unexplainable anomalies, sites claimed as the work of civilizations that were simply incapable of such feats. Polygonal masonry, enormous megalithic block walls, and rare but crucial polygonal floors. We have also recognized signature blockwork, found in many different countries, with many ancient stone builds ingeniously put together, weight-bearing architecture such as the lintel in the treasury of Atreus, that due to its accurate and complex design, is simply preposterous to attempt to claim as the work of a group of ancestors which we know predates our own modern understandings of such techniques. Yet regardless, academic explanations insult our intelligence by still claiming such ridiculous explanations. It seems that due to the fact that academia not only wants to continue to appear accurate and all-knowing in their explanations as to who built said structures, but also due to the clearly funded structure 
and the orchestrated efforts to conceal our past is also to possibly conceal realizations that could arise within one's ponderings from the exposure of the complete picture of inexplicable, technologically advanced ruins. Not only are many of these sites ignored, but many have experienced tremendous levels of vandalism and destruction. As mentioned, many of the most impressive ancient sites have had many of their most impressive engineering legacies stolen. Lots were adapted and claimed as another's creation. The Roman road, Roman columns, blinds, etc. The Great Pyramids, claimed as the work of copper-wielding ancient Egyptians. Each of these supposed accomplishments by these supposed constructors are all absent any explanation as to how they constructed such wonders and those techniques found to have been used by these groups, the channel suspects were replicated. For if they were engineered by these groups, how did they consistently make such tremendous leaps in such tiny time frames? It seems highly illogical and convenient that these occurrences of rapid technological development have all been found to have occurred within or near these still unexplained ruins. This clearly seems to have been due to the fact that just as we don't know how they were constructed, neither did our distant ancestors. They would have undoubtedly looked upon such accomplishments with awe and respect, a reaction they eventually craved from their enemies and allies alike. However, although these unexplained ruins claimed by these civilizations are absent any explanation as to their construction, they do still fortunately possess countless features missed by the thieves of our heritage, which not only support all I have claimed for over three years. A motive for this would be an attempt to support the mainstream paradigm of the builders of such. Yet it is nothing more than deceit, with modern movies involving these theaters merely an attempt to warp one's impression of their true purpose and origins. For example, Delphi in Greece, a site we have covered in the past, is one of the only sites we are aware of which still contains a near pristine picture of the building techniques once present at sites which contain ancient amphitheaters. Segesta is still another little-known, rarely shared temple ruin that, due to this continued propaganda regarding Roman responsibility, is merely overlooked or rather dismissed and brushed under the rug, nothing more than another one of their many ancient ruins. However, the channel perceives such sites in a different light. Not only does it contain an amphitheater, one suspiciously robbed out of its staged stonework, but Delphi is clearly of a very similar age, with Delphi still displaying a polygonal stage floor. Yet at Segesta, a group of individuals, perhaps from a certain institute which shall not be named, who have for over a century been repeatedly reported as actively seeking out, buying, stealing, and eventually concealing many controversial artifacts. Yet the deliberate destruction of features, such as the stone at these sites, is beyond the pale. These structures have survived millennia until primitive beliefs poisoned our species to such an extent that they destroy the truth in favor of their fictional storybooks. The temple although predictably now missing its roof, still contains features that not only fly in the face of academic teaching, but reinforces our conclusions of the sites having a far greater antiquity than the Greeks. And regardless of the attempts to destroy its advanced anomalies, advanced features are also found in the foundation blocks, out of reach of this group of morally deficient vigilantes. Protuberances. These enigmatic notches are a signature we have already identified previously as an enigmatic feature, a signature of a lost civilization, one which we call the polygonal civilization. Additionally, the incredible levels of pitting found upon the columns is clearly demonstrative of many eons of erosion. In a mainly temperate climate, this process of erosion would be considerably slower than that of a more abrasive or damp environment making such erosion scars much slower to form, thus much older than what would witness in a location with far greater variation in seasonal conditions. Indicative of its unimaginable age is but another structure claimed to date from the Greek and Roman eras, 
Yet when the condition of said temple is compared to other structures known for a fact to have dated from the same supposed era, it clearly exposes not only academia's conspiracy, but that they are indeed remnants left by a now lost, highly advanced civilization. They are, undoubtedly, highly compelling. <laughs>